Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another edition of Foodie Fridays. So for this Foodie Fridays, we are still on the True Blood kick and I am so loving this True Blood series. I wish it would never end because I am loving this cookbook. So you are going to be seeing lots of recipes from me in the future from this cookbook because I'm loving everything that I am making from it. So this is the True Blood cookbook that we got from the Dollar Tree. I've mentioned that every time, but I will have it linked below if you want to purchase it. This big one I do recommend big time. It is awesome. So flipping inside, this is the Merle Hot's Bar and Grill. So it looks like the restaurant menu from the show. And for this week, we're going to be making Sloppy Jason's page 110. So I mentioned in my grocery haul that I love Jason. I mean, he was just so stupid and you had to love him. I mean, first off, he was not anything bad to look at, let's be honest. And he was just so darn funny. Like he was the funny side of the show to me. There was a lot of funny sides, but he really made it really funny. So this is Sloppy Jason's. I've never made homemade um, man, which I just call it man, which everybody calls it sloppy Joe's, but I just call it straight up man, which what's on the can. So uh, we always make man, from the can and everybody in my grocery hauls is always like, you need to make a homemade. You're never going to go back. So I decided to give this one a try. And this is homemade sloppy Joe's sloppy Jason, because he was definitely sloppy. If y'all watch the show, you know, so let me turn my light off. I do this every time, but here we go for sloppy Jason's. So my best friend is asking for my advice about a girl I can't get out of my mind. Sure, it could be the blood Jessica gave me, but it's also those unbelievable, well, you know, that have me breaking a sweat every time I shut my eyes. When Hoyt comes in to saying she's slipping away from him, I don't know if I should be excited or miserable. I cooked him up some sloppy Joe's because I couldn't think of anything else to do. I'd rather be cooking than talking anyhow. He was not a good talker anytime to Hoyt, especially Especially when Hoyt would come over and talk to him about Jessica because if you watch the show Hoyt was Jessica's girl and Jessica and Jason were like on the side what yes you've got to watch the show if you never watched it it was so darn good so here's all the ingredients that you're gonna need for these sloppy Jason's here's the ingredients I did add a little twist to mine so let's get into this recipe <laughs> y'all so I'm just browning up a pound of ground beef here the original recipe calls for a pound and a half but I just used a pound all right so after I've drained off my grease I'm gonna add my half a cup of diced onion and also my teaspoon of minced garlic you want to stir that all together let those flavors marry for about three minutes until your onions are tender At this point, I'm going to add my three tablespoons of my red wine vinegar. You want to make sure to stir all that and make sure you get all those little bits of onions off the bottom of your pan as well. And you just want to make the flavors kind of merry here just for about a minute on medium high heat. At this point, I'm gonna add some good stuff here. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons of packed light brown sugar. This is definitely gonna you know, give the sweetness and kind of mellow out the flavors with a lot of the tart you have going on. Then I'm gonna be adding my tomato paste, which is one tablespoon here, and then also one and three-fourths cups of tomato sauce. So those are the ingredients that I'm going to add next, and then I'm going to also season this mixture as well. Y'all know that I don't like to add a lot of salt at first because we can always add more later. You can't take out, but I really go for it when it comes to the black pepper. So I just go all the way with the black pepper. So I'm gonna stir this in, let all this marry for a minute. I'm gonna add my seasonings, and then I'm gonna put the lid on and let it cook on low and simmer for about 15 minutes with the lid on it. You just want to let everything kind of marry together and then come together and thicken a little bit because it's going to be a little bit um, saucy at first. <laughs> um, so you just want to let it thicken on simmer 15 minutes.
All right, y'all, so this is 15 minutes later after it's been simmering. All those flavors have come together in such delicious goodness. This recipe was bomb, I have to say. So many of y'all were telling me that I would never go back, and you're so true. I'm serving mine with pepper jack cheese, as you see here. The original recipe called for cayenne pepper, and I skipped that and added pepper jack, and it was a super nice touch. And I always add mayo to my sloppy joes. I know a lot of people eat them plain, but we like mayonnaise on ours. That might be just a southern thing. I don't know. Had to include another picture of Jason because he's just so sweet to look at. And again, we served ours with waffle fries. I am so loving cooking from this cookbook. I have not been disappointed with anything that I've tried so far. And this is now my go-to sloppy joe recipe. Just like I said with the grits. I mean, I'm just having so many staples now come from this cookbook. And I hope that y'all are enjoying these, this series. If you are, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already. I'd love to have you a part of YouTube family here. I hope you're having an amazing Friday already and you have lots of awesome plans for the weekend. Maybe you want to cook this for the weekend doesn't take a lot of like complex ingredients and that's all about me if you followed me on foodie fridays forever you know i'm all about the simple ingredients and the deliciousness here on my channel love you guys so much thanks so much for watching and y'all have a great weekend and i'll see you next week i'm thinking it's time for some gumbo y'all i'm scared but excited at the same time so stay tuned see you next time bye <laughs>